Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be testing out two new uh, tools for scraping. And so I'm going to go over them real quick, and I actually have never used either of these for, for like painting or using them for scraped painting, so this will kind of be new for both of us. So uh, here's what we got. I've got uh, the first one, actually I'm going to angle this just a little bit down, let's see if we can move it just a little bit. To kind of just to encapsulate everything. I think we're good. Cool, cool. All right, so the first is this little edge painter. This is for like painting your walls. Um, you know, you'd put it up to like a corner or something and you would just, you'd put the paint on here and then you would just slide it down the wall and it would just paint it like that instead of a brush. It supposedly gives you like straight, even uh, coating. So we're going to try that to base coat the, um, the canvas because if that works really easily then I may actually start using these as opposed to brushes because that will give me good coverage um, with like a wide brush so we'll see next is this large trowel now this one is metal as you can see unlike the plastic one that I've been using um, another couple of things to, of note is first off that it has these rounded edges so I I purposely found one that uh, didn't have flat edges on it, just because that can dig into the canvas. Um, I couldn't find a trowel that was like this wide, so I had to find something that would not dig into the canvas, so thus these rounded edges here. The other thing is that if you look at the shine on it, you can see that it's not flat, it's actually rounded. So let me see if I can kind of put it up here. So if you look at the, at the blade itself, the blade is not flat, it's actually curved. Actually, there we go. That should be it right there. So you can see it's curved here instead of flat across. Um, the reason I got this for that is so that it doesn't suction to the painting as I'm pulling the paint through. So we're gonna try both of these today. All right, so the colors we've got, dark gray, orange, and red. And I think that we will go ahead and start with the red. So we're going to put the paint on this little brush thing and we're going to see how it goes. So I probably should dip it in there, but that's okay. All right, so we've got paint on our little paintbrush thing. So let's see how it does. Okay. Well, for uh, for covering the canvas, it's actually really, really easy. Um, okay, so I really like that and everything. However, it is, the bristles are breaking off from the brush. Now, I don't know if that's something that normally happens with this type of brush or just because this was a cheaper one. I didn't want to buy like a really expensive one and then never use it again. Um, so it is kind of breaking off into the paint. That could just be a product of this being a cheaper brush. But as far as it covering the surface, it is covering it pretty easily. So I do, I do like that actually. So let's get our paint all the way across here. So it does give us uh, some nice, some nice even coats. I do like it actually. Um, for like a little, little brush. It's uh, it's pretty cool. Gives you nice. Uh, gives you these nice even lines. Gives you nice even distribu distribution of the paint. So I think uh, I think this is gonna be, I think this is gonna work out for what I do. So especially for doing these base base coats. Now. <clears throat> now what we want to move on to is the actual painting aspect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move into orange and we're going to try it with the orange and then we'll we'll try the gray with the uh, the metal trowel. So let's put some orange on there and then we're going to pull we're actually going to pull long ways today and so we're going to pull that orange paint all the way down and we're going to see what kind of coverage it gives us. 
All right. And then we got a little bit of a little bit of a piece of paint, big piece of paint in there. All right. So it does give us the nice kind of crisp lines. I do like that. And maybe I'm not using enough paint. But what I like about putting it on the surface of the tool as opposed to the painting, the canvas itself, is that if I put it on the canvas, I tend to use too much. So that's why I'm putting it on this little scraper and not the canvas. Hey you, do you have an empty wall like this? Show that wall some love and throw a painting on it. One just like this. Shop CodySchwabi.com and use the promo code 2020 to get a unique, original, abstract painting for your walls so that you can fill the void not only on your wall but in your life. See you there. So we're gonna go to the edge and then we're gonna pull it back. Let's hold that in place. Okay. Fade that in, kind of fade it. Take that up. Okay, so that actually gives a really cool look and effect. I really do like how it creates those those thin lines in here. In fact, here I'll just show you just just in case they get covered up. I'll show you these lines real real quick from from the side. So there's that. Um, so you can kind of see these really 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 thin lines. It's hard to. There we go. You can see them, and uh, so it makes those really thin lines of the color. That's pretty cool. I do do like that. All right, cool. So I think I'll do a little bit more orange and we're gonna go over the top over time. And let's try to just, let's just lay the orange on there and see what happens. So we'll just kind of pour that on there and spread it out. Again, we're, we're just learning with this piece. I've never used this stuff, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So we'll go ahead and push it to the edge. And then we're going to overlap the bottom layer just a little bit and we're going to pull that orange all the way through. Okay. And then I'm going to go over a little bit where I was only because I touched it. And we're going to pull that through. Okay, so it actually creates a really calming look um, with these these lines. It's very it's very calming. Actually, you know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna stick with this tool for this video today, and then we'll try the trial and another one because I I'm actually really enjoying the look that it's creating for this. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll move on to the gray here and we'll just put it right on there and we'll just pull it through and see what happens. So let's load up our little brush here. And it is toasty here in the garage, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we've got we've got our gray on there. So now we will. Can you guys still see the whole piece? Cool. I'll move it over a little. Bit. All right. So let's go ahead and pull it through and see what happens.
Okay, this is actually really fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really like this a lot. I'm gonna push a little bit down into the paint. We'll see if it'll pull up some of this gray. Okay, so I did pull some of it up. I don't wanna put too much into the top layer. I wish it would stop moving. I guess if I had it mounted, it probably wouldn't move as much. Okay, so that's actually really satisfying. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to try mixing two colors now and see, we'll see what happens. So we'll put the orange and the red in there. And then we'll put it on and see what it does. This is actually, this is actually a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we'll start at the edge. Oh my gosh, the color is awesome. I'm not even kidding you. Like, if I can match this on the top, I'll be golden. It's so vibrant and so alive and so linear. Dude, that is so cool. I think I said so like 16 times just now. All right, let's 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 put some more on here and let's pull it through. And I think this might actually be our final layer here. Oh no, I got orange in my orange. I got red in my orange. I got orange in my orange, guys. All right, so let's push it up. And then we're gonna pull it through. People yelling in the background. <clears throat> okay, I'm not gonna touch it. I I'm done, and that was a lot of fun. I I I thoroughly enjoyed using that little side brush thing. So let me take my gloves off because I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Actually. All right. So let me. Get you guys down here so you can see. So this is the final piece. I know that the light kind of reflects here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand back up against my little rack here so you guys can see it. So there's the final piece. Take a picture for the thumbnail. All right, so here it is. Oh no, I just got orange paint on my phone. Oh no. Oh, we'll be all right. It's just on the, it's just on the case. So here it is, guys. Look at those, look at these these thin lines, I mean, they're so clean. Sure, they're a little wavy. That, I'm not. I'm not bothered by that. I just love how clean these lines. Are. You can see the, the these distinct little rainbow colors, and it's a little a little muddy at the end, but it's almost like marble, like it was pulled through. I mean, how cool is that? I don't know. I. I don't know if anybody else is as excited about this as I am, but the applications of this is really cool because that means I can get more of these little hand painter things and make these marble looking paintings. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you think that this is cool because I I really like it a lot. Um, so I, I may actually do more of these. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it. I <laughs> It turned out better than I thought. And, you know, hey, we got one tool out of so it gives me a chance to use the other one in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.